Hello everyone watching Anime North Stay at Home Edition. Welcome to the Fitikia Industry Panel. My name is Gladys. I am a producer at Fitikia and your MC today as well. Um, today I have with me our Editor-in-Chief, Emma. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, uh, my name is Emma Hanashiro. I am the Editor-in-Chief at Fitikia and I love uh, Boys Love Manga. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma, for the very short introduction. <laughs> but yeah, today we'll be um, introducing Fitikia, which is actually a, um, a boys love manga uh, subscription service uh, to the audience and talk about some of the titles in our library and of course share some exciting news ab about um, upcoming titles. And to give you a hint, we are working with this publisher for the first time, so make sure you watch until the very end. Like, until the very end, I swear. It's, it's very good news, so it'll be well worth the wait. Okay, so um, let's get on to the pre presentation. Um, first, what is Fitikia? Um, Emma here, uh, during her uh, self-introduction, mentioned boys love. So we, Fitikia, we are an online um, subscription service for um, boys love manga. So um, we can say Netflix for boys love manga. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I just yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we can like beep. And if you're not familiar with the term um, boys love, Emma Sensei, can you please give us a briefer of what boys love is? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, boys love, or as it's often abbreviated to BL, is a genre of manga in Japan that depicts love between two uh, male characters, like two, like two, like boy characters or two male, like male uh, men characters and so um it's a very popular genre that's been it's 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 evolved over time and so there's a lot of different terminology used outside of japan that's based off of the history of boys to love manga in japan so you might know uh you might have heard words called shonen ai or yaoi um which is when people use it they're probably talking about boys of manga um i um our team uses the term boys love or BL uh, because we're based in Japan and we're based and we're using the term uh, the terms used amongst uh, like readers and publishers within Japan. So we are a boys love manga publisher. Yeah, <laughs> we are a service subscription service for BL manga only, and you can access our library at read.tikia.com, which is, you can see uh, here. Here you go. Um, at the upper left, right, <laughs> read.sticky.com. That's our library URL. And the first chapter of most of our titles are free. So you can um, take a look and try to try out our content before actually signing up for a subscription. So um, our we have a flat flat monthly rate of 6.99 US dollars and we also, but we also have long term plans so that's um for 3 months we have it's 17.99 US dollars so that um takes the uh, brings the monthly price at 5.99 per month and uh, for 6 months we have 29.99 US dollars and if you calculate it that's actually 4.99 per month so that's very cheap for a lot of manga and um, for some uh, we would like to talk about the key features of our um, service so we have very well curated content um, our editor-in-chief <laughs> Emma makes sure that there's a good balance between themes and a lot of stuff um, uh, taking try into not consideration <laughs> of a lot of things uh, before putting in into the library mm -hmm. yeah uh, and, and you can, uh, so, like because we have a lot of different uh sort of within bl there's a lot of different types and different genres and so we have tags and ways to filter out different um, themes or different couple dynamics that you might not want to read. So if you really want to read something that has like a delinquent character, but you don't want to read something with age gap, you could you could filter that out. 
Um, if you like characters of the Ghana, we also have a special tag for glasses characters. <laughs> Emma loves Megane characters, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I told I told Vas to have that tag added in. Um, <laughs> also, we will be improving the tags over the coming months, so keep your eyes out for improvements on the way. As well, uh, we also have... Uh, we update our library regularly, so um, there is something... Some, you can read something every like day on, on the library. It's uh, We have daily updates we have weekly updates so um there's definitely something you can read on the library um whatever mood you're in or what yeah mm -hmm. and um like i mentioned before our fee is um we have flat flat monthly fee and we also have long longer term plans and um our service is browser based so as long as you have a working um, browser and a wi-fi you can access our library anywhere on any device even your switch if you have a browser on your switch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i've never Somebody tried reading manga on switch i wonder if it's fun uh, it's like it, it, if you if you like if you use it like like this like what do you call it oh. That's like, a, like a smartphone then then you can definitely read manga <laughs> that way or or webtoon maybe yeah okay and we also have a blog that um accompanies the library <laughs> i'm in charge of the blog yeah gladys works very hard to bring the, <laughs> the best exclusive interviews and uh event reports to that blog she works very very hard on it Thank you so much for that validation. Please read that blog. It's very good. <laughs> so we have a lot of exclusive contents actually. So um, we interview the creators that are the, whose works are in our library, of course, so that you can have a more in-depth um, information. Like you can understand why such um, why sensei. Um, wrote such scene or something like that we also have uh, we we post event reports and also we have a special um, encyclopedia for boys love related terms so we call it foodpedia <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves our foodpedia and they use us as a reference actually <laughs> it's it's a very handy i sometimes go back to it because i'm always like oh i can't remember like off the top of my head like what the history of a word was and it's very it's very well like well put together so yeah we have very good um researchers on the bl genre yeah so, yeah so that uh we have yeah we are very proud of our foodpedia and um the last week we all most important part of our service, we support the publishers and the artists. Yep, and so every time you read uh, in the Fitekia library, your page views count towards the royalties that go back to publish and go back to artists. So it, we are able to give back, like we're able to pay the publishers and artists, which will then help them bring more BL manga, more content to the world. So uh, just reading on our platform is just one easy way to support the industry also yeah yeah and lastly it's um it's a service by manga fans for manga fans so it's very cliche but um it's true like i love manga emma loves bio manga our president our team everyone loves manga um and we wanted to bring to make manga more accessible to uh, places who has no access to um, manga actually and we also listen to um, um, feedback from our uh, users so and we are well we're trying our best to implement um, mm -hmm. most of them one by one because our, yeah. our team is very small so yeah our team is very mm -hmm. small and uh, sometimes like there's only so many hours in the day <laughs> and we really want to make sure that we have everything working when we bring it out so we do we do take a little bit of time but we hope to be able to bring to improve tech yet and also bring improvements that will really enhance the reading experience so we still have a lot of um points that we can improve on but we try our best over the coming months and we've come a long way since we started just not even two years ago so 
speaking of coming a long way <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's the fatikia library again our link is uh you can find us at we.fatikia.com and we now have 273 titles and it's counting yeah. um when we started when we started i wasn't part of the group uh, of the team yet when when particular launched but you only had 10 titles back then in yep, july we, 2019. it was a very um we were very scared back then because we only had 10 titles and we were like is anyone is anyone gonna subscribe um and surprisingly people did even though we only had 10 titles so thank you <laughs> for those subscribers thank you so much I'm pretty sure they're they're still supporting us until until uh, today. <laughs> so thank you very much for your support. We now have 273 titles in the library, and there are more titles coming soon. So, but before we talk about those <laughs> upcoming titles, uh. we would like to give you a free like like some of the samples of what you can um, read um, on our service. So I asked Emma here to mm -hmm. give me <laughs> five titles that we can introduce to the audience mm -hmm. and Emma, why why did you choose these five <laughs> titles first? So when I was in university, I guess college, um, I took a Japanese cinema class called From Canon to Fringe, meaning like from classic Japanese cinema to sort of fringe or really niche, pushing the edges, progressive Japanese film. And so using that sort of like framework of like classic to like more fringe niche titles, um, I selected five titles to sort of encompass all of those. Um, yeah, so, so that's yeah. um, five out of the 273 <laughs> titles that we have. So I'll give the floor to Emma right now to introduce our, those five titles that mm -hmm. you chose. Okay. Thanks. Uh, let's see. So we're going to start with sort of the more classic, more quote unquote canon BL titles. Um, and so starting off, we have Hopelessly Devoted by Tetsuko Yamamoto Sensei. It's published by Kaiosha. Um, this is a very well known title amongst uh, long time readers of BL manga, and maybe even not long time readers of BL. It's a very sweet um, sort of. <sighs> I, I sometimes don't remember how the word slow burn is used, but there is a lot of like progress that goes through relationships of a Buddhist priest, Yuji, and his childhood friend, uh, Saburo. And so we sort of watch their relationship grow over the course of many, many volumes. Um, it's a very, it's a multi-volume series. Um, I think in our schedule right now, we have eight volumes scheduled. Um, so you'll be able to see sort of how their love grows um, throughout these uh, throughout these many volumes. Um, also, there's there's Yuji, and then we also see the relationship of his um, older brother. Um, so it's an e interesting sort of counterpoint because they're two very different characters. So that's sort of that's the first sort of more canon classic BL title recommendation. The next one is Illumination, the new edition by uh, Tomoko Yamashita Sensei, published by Shodensha. Um, this is uh, actually a, a much older title. Um, in terms like it was published by a different publisher and uh, it was very well known and over the years people have sort of loved um, the sort of it's a little bit unorthodox in terms of how it approaches BL it's a this manga itself is a collection of short stories um, all bundled into one volume and it also has one additional chapter that was not included in the original release of the manga um, so it has uh, Tomoko Yamashita Sensei is really well known for her writing style and so her exploration of like a narrative within uh, a manga, like within this, like within like the manga format. And so, if you want sort of a more like interesting, like developing BL title that you don't see in other uh, manga, this is a good title to recommend. I personally love Illumination. Um, yeah, I just wanted to push it out there. She, Tom, uh, Tomoko Yamashita Sensei is also very well known, like outside of BL manga as well. She's a very prolific manga, uh, more prolific Yuka. Like she does like Jose manga and other genres. Um, that so you might know her from there. Um, then we have for the next title. So we went from classic. Now we're getting a little bit into the more like progressive sort of not fringe but uh, more niche. Uh, manga. Uh, we have for the next title, Shinjuku Lokiho by Haruka Kumoto Sensei, also published by Shodensha. Um, so Haruka Kumoto Sensei is very well 
well known, I think, probably for Rakugo Shinju Showa. Uh, what was that title? The, the Rakugo, yeah. Yeah, yeah title. for yeah. Descending Stories, uh, which turned mm-hmm. into an anime series. But she's also very well known within the BL manga scene for writing a really, for writing like, she has one really long BL series as well as like other shorter series. And this is one of the shorter、um, manga. It's two volumes long. The first one came out quite a while ago, and the second volume came out only a couple years ago. Um, and it documents the story of like a, like an AV、um, company and sort of the relationships within it.、Um, it's a story that has high drama, like comedy,、um, like high low moments, great glasses character. I don't know. It has, it has everything you could ask. But,、um, glasses. Yeah. Within, I think,、uh, Komoto Sensei is like, Larger works, people might not know Shinjuku Okiho as well, especially if you're new to BL manga. So, this is getting more into the niche, but I highly recommend it if you if you want sort of a, a full powered <laughs> BL title. <laughs>、um, and then the next one we have is we're getting into the more progressive, sort of new wave of BL titles coming out. So, we have Fall of an Immortal by Mushiba Sensei, published by Homesha.、Um, So, Mushiba Sensei is sort of known for having crazy, but unexpected BL、um, stories. Like, sometimes you wonder, like, is this a BL manga at first? And then you realize, oh, it is. But it's always, she always has unexpected, like, twists and turns in the story.、Um, some, like, based off the cover, you might not know, like, what you're getting into at all. Like, sometimes you sort of have an idea when you see a cover. When you see、uh, Fall of an Immortal, like, It's just mysterious.、Um, I don't want to. I, I recommend reading this title without knowing too much going in, just so you have the full surprise experience.、Um, if you want to know, like, we have, we have tags and summaries for this title、um, as well. Like, just for the tags for this title, it's like mystery, drama, comedy, slice of life.、Um, it also like, contains like,、uh, like, a very rich character. So, like, Having, having a rich character is always convenient for narratives, I think, because a lot more things could happen. But、um, I don't know. I, it's, a, it's a really high, like, wild BL title, and I recommend it for people who want to try something new and fresh in the, from the BL genre. And then for our last title, we have Sleeping with a Stallion by Mecha Sensei. Now, up until now, all the titles that I've introduced are commercially published BL. This title is actually self published by Mecha Sensei. And, Um, was distributed at like doujinshi events within Japan.、Um, at Fitekia, we work not only with publishers and artists, we also work directly with、um, independent artists or self published artists、um, and have their works within the library. If,、uh, we usually contact them and ask, like, Would you like your title in English? And they say yes. And then we work with them to help bring it to a wider audience. So, Sleeping with a Stallion is one such title.、Um, it's a the, I think within the live, we don't have that many sports related、um, BL titles, but this one in particular is about horse racing. <laughs> so I, I feel like horse racing is a popular topic nowadays because of what is it? Uma <laughs> Musume. Uma Musume. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also it's a, it's a summer sport, too, I guess. But if you want to read sort of a sports related、um, BL title along with Much more like built buffer men、um, and unexpected tops and bottoms, I recommend Sleeping with a Stallion. It's a, one, it's a one shot, so it's only one chapter, I guess, length long, but it's very filling. So I highly recommend Sleeping with a Stallion. Okay, so、um, <laughs> those are just five of the 200 plus, 270 plus titles that we have in our library. So I hope that you, those five <laughs> titles got you interested in t o、um, subscribing to Fiki. I'm just subscribe. <laughs> anyway, so now we、uh, reach the point where <laughs> everyone is excited. Everyone is really excited to、uh, um, hear. Announcements! Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, we are here to announce upcoming titles to um, um, Tekia, and we are proud to announce that we are working with Tokyo Manga Sha! Yay! <laughs> so, we are, yes, we are bringing in、um, 
uh, Marvel Comics titles um, to Fitekia. And for the first batch of titles, we are uh, bringing in titles by Kazuki Natsume Sensei. So that we, we have four titles, that's um, Nights Before Night and the sequel mods, um, I Hate and By My Side. So for mm -hmm. these four titles, are are coming to Tekia. Emma, what what do you think? <laughs> um, I I I never imagined we'd be working with Tokyo Manga Show, honestly. Like when when we were told that we had the chance like they were interested in working with us, I it 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 it, it, it brought life back to me. <laughs> um, I think I think everyone is dying right now in the audience. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's but yeah, it. this is very, this is really uh, like exciting news that we we've been we we have been tra wanting to share with everyone. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, thank it's you for anime for the opportunity to announce this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our so our team is also working very hard to improve the quality of our translations and. Uh, the English edition, so uh, we hope that we'll be able to bring something really well done and make the readers happy. So yeah. So for the for the release dates, um, we will um, announce them on our social media. So follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our handle name is at Tekia. That's F U T E K I Y K I Y A. Tikia, or you can reach us at um, supportoftikia.com um, slash contact if you need anything. So yeah, that's all the time we have, sadly. <laughs> and Emma, some last words? Uh, I just want to thank everyone for sticking in, uh, sticking in, <laughs> for stopping by to listen to us. Um, and also, I want to thank like everyone for making it possible for us to come to this event and give this announcement. Um, I hope you are finding good things to read and if you could find something good on the Fitekia Library, that is great. <laughs> okay, and for myself, um, thank you Anime North um, for having us again this year and I hope everyone watching are staying safe and we hope to see you soon in person. Thank you very much for watching. Bye! Bye. Thank you.